Hi hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Emmanuel Lens back again with another video. So, um, I'm actually shooting on my Fuji X-T2 today. Uh, this is literally the first video that I'm going to post uh, from the Fuji. And it's a Fuji video about another Fuji. Actually, I got the X-T1. Um, I've been talking about this camera for a long time. Actually, let me take out the straps been talking about this camera i really went like full blast fuji switching to the brand completely if i could really say it uh i'm just gonna record a backup audio on my recorder here uh so i got another fuji and i'm super stoked about it it's the fuji xt1 and this is the fuji that started it all this is the fuji that uh after fuji went uh, digital they've done a few point and shoot and they've done the xt1 this is the x1 trend sen uh, sensor it's a, it's a very beautiful camera to be honest so uh the only reason i really got this camera is because of the deal i had because it came with a lens the uh the one i'm actually using right now and i'm using it at f 1.4 and um, so it came with the 35 mil uh f 2.4 uh f no not f 2.4 f 1.4 lens so it was just a steal for the price that um, the guy that offered me to get it it was just a steal and this is actually i compared it to my xt uh, xc2 it's slightly smaller than it so i'll probably put uh, b-rolls of it it's slightly smaller than it it doesn't have as many uh it doesn't have that uh, button the dial what is it that button that um you find on the xt2 uh the joystick button doesn't have that joystick button it doesn't have some of the things that the xt2 has which makes this xt2 actually a very compelling camera for a lot of the things that i'm really trying to do and trying to achieve right now uh, i'm actually using the x the that um lens on my xt2 and it's giving me as you can see a very very nice uh background separation i don't generally shoot it like f4 uh but i feel like it it you know it looks okay it looks really good and i hope it looks it looks really i have my monitor here because i literally had to do that to be able to i'll show you my setup so probably will be this will be one of the first photo i'm taking on this camera as well so this is the setup that i am using so this is the setup that i'm using and i don't really like this fuji other fuji lens so this is my setup i'm using to shoot this so it's actually a very not too bad of a camera to be honest um it has a flip no no the screen just sort of flip flips up out but doesn't flip or sideways like the xt like the xt um uh two so i uh, stops like this i don't like the doors on this they are they are what they are rubber and they sort of because this guy the guy I bought this from hasn't been using this for a long time so i think they've they've become a little bulbous so i might just have to heat it up a little bit so that they can come back to shape and the rubber everybody always complains about this about this camera the rubber is the glue here is coming out so i'm definitely gonna have to glue it back again uh and i don't know which type of glue they've used and the rubber itself also feels a little bit um i don't know yeah it feels a bit meh uh to be honest it's made in japan if i'm if i if to be honest it feels like a tank it feels well made it feels really well made when you hold it but it's just that the quality of the rubber compared to the xt2 that i have it's not really good this one feels like it's gonna melt in your hands and those are some of the things that i don't like obviously it doesn't have a head it has a mini i don't even know what type of headsets this one has like it's mic remote so it's very bad it has one sd card this one has two sd card but obviously this is a what uh it came out a long time ago it's more than 10 years old so i can't really hold it onto fuji and say hey you this camera is bad Anyway, I'm shooting on Kodak Chrome and Classic Chrome. Speaking of which, this camera does have a few uh, simulation, not all of the newer one, obviously, because of the age, but it's, it's, it works fine. I mean, but the color from this, this sensor just looks a little bit different from what I've, I've, I have even on the X2 strength sensor. 
And that is something that makes it really a good, good proposition. Because uh, the only thing I'm getting this camera for, and I'm thinking it really suits this lens, which I hate. And now, I, now that I'm getting, now that I'm using that it sense, on this that camera, that is something I hate it less. Really uh, it just makes a lot of sense. Because, uh, because I feel the, can, the color this rendition from, from this lens in this camera feels a bit better than on the X-T2. The X-T2 with the 35 uh, uh, f4, f1.4 just feels really good. I think it feels very different than having it on this um, on this camera. And you can see it's even has collected dust. So my colleague that sold it to me haven't used this for a while. So it has collected dust. I haven't actually cleaned it up yet. Don't do what I just did now. I'm going to clean it up and just dust it off a little bit and wipe here and there. But it's a very beautiful, beautiful camera. If you've been using Fuji, uh, you use this camera, you, you should really not have any problem trying to get, uh, you, you will find yourself at home. And to be honest, by this time, Fuji was already giving you the opportunity and the possibility to customize all the buttons from the camera. And other manufacturers still don't do it. Uh, Canon, uh, I'm, usually, I'm actually having a BTS Canon here. So it, it's strange that at this time already fuji was giving you the opportunity and the possibility to make to customize all the buttons on this camera i'm actually planning to get a battery grip for this camera i think it will just make it just slightly a little bigger and uh, give me really what i want with this camera and it was a steal to get it for about 350 dollars uh, american and about 7,000 rand uh, south african so yeah, that's that's a deal uh, that's really a deal because i got the camera and the lens the lens itself already hold that much value and I, I couldn't just pass on that i couldn't really just pass on that and be like i'm not i'm not uh getting this so it's it's a it's a really beautiful camera this is my first impression this is the first time i'm ever holding an xt t1 i also thought about getting an xt 100 but uh, i think that would have been redundant so my next camera purchase on my next camera that i'm gonna get is gonna be the xs20 and uh just only really because of the video capability that camera has and also because of youtube because i really want to to get a camera that i think is better for youtube so this one this one really in terms of photography i can just put it in my bag and you know walk about and just take some photos it's a very good good good, good camera for that the size is just out about it's very small for my hands because you can see it's dangling over there but i don't really mind that it's it works just fine like that um but it is a very nice uh, proposition here. So I got my first ever, the first ever Fuji the tangible lens camera. There you go, I have one. So shooting at f1.4 is also super interesting. That is something that um, I'm very, very much impressed about. And yeah, you know, I'm, I'm shooting with autofocus on my X-T2. It's holding pretty okay, to be honest. It's not as fast as my Canon over here, but it's it's doing uh, what I want it to do. So I know this is pretty much all over the place. Not really a review of this camera because it's a 10 plus year old camera. You can't really review something like that and say like I'm really reviewing the camera. But the reason I just bought this camera is everybody has been talking about the XT1 and they are so get, they are getting so hard to get, especially here in South Africa. Fuji is already hard to get in South Africa, but getting something of this quality and uh, this clean and this price proposition is just amazing and i feel like yeah i feel really really good that i was able to pull up this and get this camera for that's it's not dirt cheap yeah i'm not gonna say it's dirt cheap but to get it for that uh, for that price it feels like yeah i really got myself a really good deal here because i can still use this camera for photos this is one thing that people think camera improvements it's it, it, incrementally improved so if you i send a customer for a, a 60 uh 16 megapixel photo it, it will never zoom on that photo it will never do things that we talk about camera do so people who talk about camera will do things that people don't talk about camera uh, so they just want a, a beautiful photo so that's what matter the most and that is one thing that because of the colors of this camera i believe uh this this will really just not a game changer but I, I enjoy this nostalgia of having camera of this age and it's always good to upcycle uh, gears uh, instead of letting it go to waste and uh, you know 
uh, I think my colleague got, got, got himself a really good deal here. I also got myself a really good deal here because even the resale value of Fuji's are just getting better because, yeah, looks like the older the gates, the better. So get yourself or look for a vintage Fuji camera because the colors from these cameras are just amazing and I enjoy that the most. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.